last video that that was going to be the last video from Ants World for a little while. Well, I'm going to just do this one as the last one actually. So I did mention that I caught another queen ant because there was loads going around the other day. And this one didn't have its wings and it was walking on the floor so I assumed it had been mated with. So what I'm going to do is set it up in the test tube setup and I'm going to leave it in there for probably like a few weeks or months and hopefully allow it to lay its eggs and get at least the first workers going. I'm going to try to take this a lot slower than the other set of ants because obviously when I got them they were in a test tube but I'd already had the ants world set up. So this time I'm actually going to take things a lot slower and allow the colony to grow and so that's why there'll probably be a big gap between this video and the next ant world if there's going to be a next one. So very simple I've got this test tube, got it from eBay, I've got a few of these actually because you tend to buy these in bulk. What you want to do is fill the bottom up with water. Okay, so I filled this up quite a bit, um, that's because I want to leave her undisturbed for a while so she has plenty of water. Now the next thing you want to do is fill this with, I believe they're called cotton balls, but all I have are the makeup pads. So I'm going to do my best to stuff them in here and you want it to be upright when you're doing it so you don't get air bubbles. Okay, you want to do this quite securely, so I pushed it down with a bamboo skewer and I allowed the water to soak up to about here um, and if you turn it over if it's leaking water then it's not secure enough ideally when it is actually being used it will probably be on its side so at the moment I think that's all good for the lid I actually have a stopper because that just came with a test tube but you can also plug it with uh, cotton as well I'm still not sure whether I should do that or just put the plug in because I have seen someone use this I just don't want to kill my ant I don't know how much air they need anyway I'll go and get my queen ant now okay my queen ant's in here I've named her Jeremiah Archipelago um, don't judge <laughs> I always have ridiculous names for like any sort of bug situation I have. Okay, so she's had this, so she's got loads of fluid, but I'm hoping she'll settle in nicely into this. As I said, I assume she's been bred with. She was walking along the floor. She didn't have her wings or anything. She might not be, and if that's the case, I'll let her free, but if she has been, she'll start laying eggs, hopefully not. There you go. And she's in. Go on in. I'm going to just plug this up. Sorry if this is out of focus. Go back down, Jeremiah. Okay, I've just put some uh, paper underneath that so you can actually see her. Um, I'm going to put her in the dark and leave her for a long time so she can settle in. She has plenty of water there. This is meant to mimic like the chamber, the first chamber that they go into, so hopefully she'll settle down soon. And thank you very much for watching. Hopefully when I do return with this, she'll have a whole load of brood and workers. Mm -hmm.